who has a story about Teddy. He was down from like one side of the street and just throw the ball and then run down and catch the ball. He played catch by himself. The same pass? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When he was younger, he was the tallest thing on the team. And they was like, that boy is not eight years old. Oh no, he is too big. And I used to have to carry his birth certificate around. Teddy impacts you in a way that's sometimes hard to imagine that this young man, Teddy, his personality, his attitude, his demeanor, demonstrate that he's one of a kind. From the first day I picked up a football when I was four years old, I knew that I was going to the NFL. Young guys from my neighborhood or from my city don't get the opportunity, so I let him know that you have more potential, you have what it takes. I believe one of the things I was so in awe with Teddy was, he was always a student first, he was an athlete second. He knew the playbook that had like a hundred and something plays. He had a, a 4.0 GPA when he was a student here. He tried out for wide receiver, and during practice one day, I'll never forget it, he went out for a pass. And Teddy threw it back. Ball was like, whew, I mean, it was a whistle. Right then and I discovered, hey, we got a quarterback. We were down, second half of a particular game, put Teddy in at quarterback, and he just went to work. We won that game, and it was the first time I had ever heard my name being chanted. Teddy, you just like, kind of be like, this is real. And the rest is history, huh? The rest of history. I'm actually accomplishing every goal that I've written down. And it's, it's a scary feeling when you can just achieve every goal that you set. You gotta write some more goals now. No, right? <laughs> <laughs> the list go on and on, make the Pro Bowl, win a Super Bowl starting the playoffs, win the playoff game. I'm overjoyed to uh, have my little brother potentially going to the NFL. Potentially? He ain't no potential. <laughs> He's going. In a little while, the commissioner will be handed a piece of paper and call your name. How long have you been thinking about this? All your life? All my life. Like I said, when I first picked up a football, I had big dreams. I pinch myself to see if it's real. I'm overwhelmed, really. He loves the game of football. How much money he makes, he can care less. Teddy wants to make his mom happy. That's all he wants to do. Miss Rose. Miss Rose. She's tough, man. She's tough. Miss Rose, uh, phenomenal. She was always here. She was the team's mom. It was a lot of fun. They used to call me Coach Rose. She disciplined us. She took care of us. She fed us. She clothed us. She kept a roof over our head. You would never know she's been through the things she's been through. And when I found out my mom had breast cancer, it shocked me. I said, your mom is getting ready to go through breast cancer. They told me I had breast cancer. And Teddy was just looking at me in, like in disbelief. Like, you know, is this really true? My mindset was that my mom was gonna die. So I, I didn't wanna lose my mom. She's my best friend. She's always been there for me. Teddy was the baby of all my kids. And I had to fight more for him also because I didn't wanna um, leave him here. I wasn't ready to leave him here. So I, I fought and I fought and I fought. There were times where I would just be in class and just start crying. I would just start crying for no reason. And he just wanted to give up and just take care of me. She kept saying, no, coach, I need him out here. I need him out here. I'm fine. I'll be okay. You know, you just make sure he does what he has to do out here and in the classroom. She pulled me aside and told me, hey, listen, you continue doing what you're doing, I'm going to be all right. But I told him, you know, you have to fight. It was a fight for all of us, though. We would relate a football situation to life, you know, because we all were taught, you know, football was the game of life. You have to be mentally tough because you have to be able to bounce right back up once you hit and just show that that hit didn't phase you. Your fight, your courage, it all stands out to me. And I just thank you for that. Thank you for the many sacrifices that you've made, not only me, for this entire family. I just thank you for being the strong woman that you are, and I love you. When I was nine years old, my mom and I, we were riding home from football practice, my little league football practice. I just saw an Escalade riding by, and I told her, Mom, when I make it to the NFL, I'm gonna buy a pink Escalade truck. <laughs> I stuck with the color pink just because, you know, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. You know, when I was nine years old, I was just thinking, hey, pink is the color that any woman would like. Pink rims? Pink rims. Are they gonna spin too? <laughs> At the time, I was thinking spinners. <laughs> That's when the, the spinner, the nonstop. Let's not do the spinners for my arms, please. <laughs> so we have six shades of pink. Yeah, you I think, digging? Uh, this one right here. 
you can see the gold mm -hmm. if the sun hit it or the light hits it. <laughs> that Miami sun? That, that Miami sun. And it's been such a blessing just to watch you grow up from a little boy to the man that you are and to be a man of stature. And just through the years, you not giving up when I was diagnosed, when you wanted to give up and you hung in there and you fought with me. And just you making me a mom that would make any other mom glad to be your mother. We come before you with thanksgiving in our heart. We just thank you right now for what you're doing. We thank you for what you've already done. And we say thank you, thank you, thank you, amen. Amen. He did it. It's all. Oh that's him. That's this. You know. You know. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Look. He, he wanted this. This means more to him than what's going to happen later this week. To be able to 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 do this for you, just to, to have bring people together and to and to celebrate your life and to celebrate your birthday. Like, the first step there, Rose. Okay. Just, it's yours. It's yours. I just want you to walk with me. Why would you wear? Just walk with me. Step. Step. Okay. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Just like I promised you. The <laughs> new car. For real? He didn't tell me this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your son just got you a pink Escalade, bro. <laughs> you got a pink Escalade. To the rims, look at the rims. <laughs> you did all this. Oh, all right, you do it to my For real, oh my God. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you.